Hey, what's happening, CS Tears? Welcome to a special edition of the Cincinnati Soccer Talk Coney Phone. We are back at it for the 2019 year and uh, did not expect to have to throw up the Coney Phone tonight, but we do because FC Cincinnati and the Chicago Fire currently in a weather delay there in Chicago. Well, I should say the city of Bridgeview. Uh, So if you're just joining us late, you join the match late. We'll give you a recap of what has happened as well as take your calls tonight here on the Coney phone. So make sure you get in touch with us, 513-399-KICK, 513-399-KICK to have your thoughts heard here on this edition of the Coney phone. Joining me for his first Coney phone ever is the one and only Rob Pierce. Rob, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Uh, do, I, do I get a prize? Sure. <laughs> can, I, can I get a four-way? Yeah, sure. If you really want one, uh, what are your what, what are your thoughts on the match so far? Uh I mean, a great start. You couldn't have you couldn't have asked for a better start. Um, that goal in the in the first minute, um, and then FC Cincinnati a little lucky there uh, just before play went uh, uh, got suspended on that PK. Um, Gaetan uh, Richie dives one way. Gaetan kicks it the other way, but he hits the post. So. Lucky, um, confident, I guess, a little bit. Uh, had one nothing. Uh, we'll see, um, you know, how long the delay lasts, how it might affect, if if it does affect FC Cincinnati's lineup, and and uh, we'll we'll see if they can ride it out. Yeah, uh, as we mentioned, uh, the phone lines are open five one three three nine nine kick five one three three nine nine kick. Get your thoughts heard on tonight's Coney phone. Uh, yes, uh, FC Cincinnati getting off to. Their best start in Major League Soccer ever with a first-minute goal from Alan Cruz. Uh, it was great build-up play by the orange and blue Bertoni with a beautiful cross into the box. And as luck will have it, the ball bounces finally FC Cincinnati's way right into the path of Alan Cruz, who buries it home with a nice scissor kick there in the first minute. And uh, and really, that was it. Rob mentioned the penalty kick call there uh, after a VAR review. Hard to argue with the, the video replay there. Uh, but the ball don't lie. That's the phrase, right? Uh, ball don't lie, and the ball clanks off the post in FC Cincinnati, maintaining a 1-0 lead here in this weather delay in Bridgeview. So uh, get in touch with us. This is your chance to talk about FC Cincinnati. Any transfer rumors, uh, anything lettuce-related, we want to hear it. <laughs> so get in touch with us, 513-399-KICK. Should we go to the phones, Rob? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Let's go, area code 513. Hi, who's this? I can't hear anybody on. Oh, it looks like the call dropped. All right, 513-399-KICK, 513-399-KICK. Get in touch with us here on the King's Hammer hotline uh, on the Coney phone tonight. Uh, So, obviously, we know that um, we didn't have um, Victor Omeya in the lineup tonight, Rob. Uh, that meant we had a little bit of a shift in the midfield. Caleb Stanko gets the start for the orange and blue, uh, along with um, Bertone and Alan Cruz. Uh, what have you thought of Stanko so far here very early on in this match? Uh, as so far, so good, I, I suppose. Um, Stanko is used to that six role, I would say, so that's um, you know, a familiar position uh, for him. And um, we're seeing Cruz in the ten. And uh, Bertoni uh, in the eight, so um, yeah, I think I think so far he's done well. What about uh, yeah? I guess really that's only the change from last week. One thing I noticed in this match too, as I'm trying to update a graphic here as well, all at the same time. We're, we're doing this on the fly, folks. Um, <laughs> uh, we we saw two. It looks like two shiners under Spencer Ritchie's eyes. I, I didn't notice it last week. Uh, but it looks like he's got some bruising under both eyes after taking that shot late in the match against the Dynamo. Yeah, you saw the um, you saw the one, right? But I didn't realize that it affected both uh, both eyes. But you know, seeing video of him, um, you know, before the match and during the match, I mean, it's, it's pretty clear he's got marks under both eyes. That that must have been quite the quite the boot to the face. That must have hurt. Yeah, it definitely looked painful. Uh, there's no question about that. So uh, as I try to update the graphic here. Uh, yep. Five, one, three, three, nine, nine, kick five, one, three, three, nine, nine, kick. Uh, get in touch with us here on the King's hammer hotline. We want to hear from you folks. 
uh, tonight uh, during this weather delay. Of course, uh, we'll keep you updated on when this match is about to go back live. Um, so, yeah, this is your chance, though, FC Cincinnati fans. If you're watching us on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter, give us a call here. Our first edition of the Coney Phone here in 2019. I feel like it's been a while since we've done one of these, Rob. Yeah, yeah. Um, probably the most famous one is the one where Griffin called in and pulled the, the <laughs> fire alarm. <laughs> that that pretty much um, was was the standard bearer for Coney phones. Um, that, <laughs> it's one of my favorite CST memories. Yeah, that goes back a ways. Uh, it's the same Open Cup run that uh, the last time you know FC Cincinnati faced the fire in a match that had meaning, where they won. Uh, in that penalty shootout. So um, tonight, this is the first competitive match between these two clubs uh, since that night back in June of 2017. Um, but so yeah, right now, off to a great start, though. FC Cincinnati leading the fire 1-0 uh, with the, their earliest goal in Major League Soccer and their early existence in Major League Soccer. We know that the, a couple years ago, Koenig scored, what, I think 30 seconds into the match, Rob. I think that still is the fastest goal in FC Cincinnati history. I can't remember who it was against. I believe it was last year, though. Um, I could be wrong about that. I think, wasn't it against Nashville? Mm, I don't remember the opponent. I'm almost positive it was last year, um, but I don't remember who it was against. I I think it might have been Nashville, but again, I, I could be wrong there. Yeah, I can't exactly remember. I remember it was an early goal, and I think we ended up drawing that match, you know, giving up a late goal. Uh, but yeah, so tonight, Alan Cruz gets on the score sheet early in the first minute. A beautiful, fantastically well-taken goal. Um, let's see here. Stacy Ann on Facebook wants to know, why did Schweine get suspended? Uh, I think it was just yellow card accumulation. Um, that's what I thought, Jordan. I thought it was Nashville. Thank you for confirming that. He's on uh, on Twitter there. Um, let's see. What else? This is from uh, Matt Weirman on Twitter. He says, why do you think Cruz to the side and Stanko in the middle? Um, I don't know. I guess I saw Stenko more central. Maybe I'm wrong about that, Rob. I thought I saw Cruz a little, little more in advanced position there as well. Yeah, they. Um, he might be referring to the graphic that uh, they put up before the game that showed um, Cruz on the left. But I, I think he's kind of more uh, as as the uh, as the ten. Yeah. Uh, as we mentioned, we've got phone lines open. Get in touch with us. Where are you watching? If you're watching us live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, then we can see there's quite a few of you. Get in touch with us. Give us a call. Uh, if you're in Chicago and you're watching live here on uh, Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter, get in touch with us. 513-399-KICK. We know a lot of you made the trip up to Chicago. So we want to hear from you. Get in touch with us here on the King's Hammer Hotline on the first edition of the Coney Phone here in 2019. Uh, so yes, uh, FC Cincinnati leading one nil. We we've heard some rumors uh, up. We've got the, the DFW Metroplex FC Cincinnati supporters group watching, tuning in live on Facebook. Call us, call us Dallas. We want to hear from you. Um, so yeah, I know there's been some rumors swirling around. Um, there's a lot of folks who <laughs> we've been seeing on social media. We saw some reports too. Uh, I guess recently Rob, that apparently Dutch club Ajax, Legendary Dutch club Ajax is uh, is possibly interested in one Frankie Amaya. Uh, when you heard that news, that uh, that was kind of surprising. Yeah, yeah. Um, this would be uh, who was it that we had on? I want to say it was um, one of the ETR guys, and they were talking about how um, FC Cincinnati should have played. Frankie Amaya a little bit more to develop his cost um, so that, you know, when, if, if a sale, you know, were to happen, if anybody were interested, this would kind of boost his value. Um, in fact, we have a tweet here from Jordan Heiser asking us, how much does Ajax or any other club for that matter need to offer up in exchange for Frankie Amaya for it to be a good deal for SCC? And because Amaya is under a generation Adidas contract, uh, FC Cincinnati would only get a portion of the sale. I believe it's a third. So yep. um, it would have to be, um, I would think it would have to be quite a, quite a hefty offer. 
um, for FC Cincinnati to let him go. But who knows? Well, if that offer comes in at 15 million, maybe that, uh, that changes some things. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. As we mentioned, we've got phone lines open 513-399-KICK here on the King's Hammer Hotline. We're on the Coney phone, first edition of the year. Let's go to the phones and uh, welcome in area code 513. Hi, who's this? Hey, this is Matt, a uh, long-time caller, first-time listener. <laughs> hey, Matt, how's it going? Oh, it's going fantastic. Um, two things. First one is, when do you think Vanderwerf um, actually can work into the rotation and actually start playing? That is a big question. I think there are some potential issues at play there with Vanderwerf. Um, I think there's something going on with his status uh, as far as the visa status, trying to get back into the country. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but I believe that's what's going on. So until he actually gets here, uh, I think that's going to be tough. Uh, but don't quote me on that. I just think that's something we've been we've been hearing that uh, I think there might be some some issues there interna- internationally involving our new center back. Yeah, I've been hearing that as well, and um, same issues for uh, Gerard. Uh, he can't. Yeah, um, it's uh, tough to get into the United States apparently these days. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> secondly, did uh, did anybody think that 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 foul, if it was even a foul, was actually in the box? Well, Not that's, that it matters because he hit the post. But. Right. That's one of those things where. When I was watching real time, I didn't think it was a foul. And of course, it looks worse when you watch it in slow mo, right, Matt? I mean, it's it, yeah. it it was it was a clumsy foul. I could see why the ref gave it, but um, and and you know, as we say, uh, the ball don't lie, right? I mean, he clanked it off the post, and even the guys, uh, you know, Waston and Ledesma were were screaming at the ref about the placement of the ball and the penalty kick. They didn't think it was on the spot. And um, sure enough, he clanked it off the the post. So thankfully, um, you know, a couple of bounces going FC Cincinnati's way here early in this match. I think if we can just get through halftime one nil and uh, regroup, well, actually, I guess because of the rain rain delay, we can regroup. We Again. might be able to get uh, another tally. Um, one last thing, because uh, I want other people to do do their thing. Um, Dally, he seems pretty pacey, but he seems like he's getting. Uh, Marked pretty well by Colvo is is what's what's your what's your thought on that? Yeah, I'm glad you brought him up. Uh, I've look, Daly is not um, he's not not striker number one in in Major League Soccer. Uh, let's be honest there, right? He's not. Uh, I don't see him being uh, a starter anywhere else in the league except for Cincinnati right now, and that's due to necessity. Um, with that said, I like that he gets involved defensively. I like that he comes back. I like that he presses high. Um, I think there's still some question marks about his run making, uh, but when he does get the ball, he seems to hold it up well. Um, was kind of right there on that goal, uh, but yeah, I mean he's he's doing the dirty work, right? And I don't know if we've necessarily seen that from Fernando Adi uh, in his time in Cincinnati, Rob. Yeah, um, this is why I wanted to see more and more of Daly is because I've seen good things from him. And the more minutes he gets, the more he will improve. Um, like Amaya, maybe not quite as much as Amaya. He's got a very good work rate. Um, I think Soup's mentioned he, he works hard defensively as, as well as you know on offense. So um, I, I just want to see him get more and more minutes and, and take a look. And FC Cincinnati can really evaluate him and see what they have. Well, we appreciate the call, Matt. Uh, really do. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. All right, that's uh, Matt getting us started here Thanks. on the Coney phone here uh, tonight. Uh, FC Cincinnati leading 1-0 as we currently are in a weather delay. I uh, don't know if we've necessarily had an update on where we're at match-wise, but we'll, we'll continue to get you updated uh, as uh, the evening progresses. Let's go back to the phones, though, Rob. Uh, area code 513. Hi, who's this? Hi, uh, this is Joe. Hey, Joe, how's it going? Good. I got two main questions. Uh, my first one would be, if Frankie and I would be loaned out or sold, when would that occur, do you think? Well, the window closes, I believe, is it August 7th, Rob? That sounds right. I think they give him a full month. 
Um, so if a, a sale were to happen, it would happen in that time frame. As far as a loan goes, of course, he was out at uh, Orange County, California for, for a little bit until FC Cincinnati recalled him basically out of necessity. Um, and he's just getting so many minutes here. I, I don't see him being loaned out anywhere else for the rest of the season. I think it would be a sale. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you okay. there. Uh, what was your next question, Joe? Uh, my other question is, do you guys have any updates or news on the head coaching situation? We don't. <laughs> on the, no, you don't know anything I about wish, the new head coach? I wish we did. It feels like this thing is just dragging on and on and on. And I, I think yeah. um, we, we've seen some rumors that it might be uh, Ron Jans uh, from over in, uh, in the Netherlands, uh, who obviously has a working history with our, our new GM here in Gerard Niekamp. Uh, we've also heard other rumored names, uh, Tab Ramos also being in that group as well. Uh, so as far as a time frame or when it's going to be happening, that is a good question. I wish, I wish we had an answer for you, Joe. Yeah, you yeah. Need okay, to- thank you, guys. Appreciate the call. Go ahead, Rob. I was going to say you need to follow Slice of Tomato or whatever it is on Reddit to uh, you know, <laughs> keep up to date. Yeah, I just followed him today. <laughs> nice. Oh, well played, Rob. Uh, thanks for the call, Joe. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Get in touch with us here on the King's Hammer Hotline on the Coney phone, uh, 513-399-KICK. Uh, if you got questions, you want to talk tactics, you want to talk formations, you want to talk uh, transfers, signings, um, who could FC Cincinnati possibly be selling? Uh, this is your chance to chime in, folks. Uh, we're currently in a weather delay in Bridgeview, Chicago. one nothing. your score, FC Cincinnati, with the lead very early on. If you tuned in late, if you're one of those uh, people who likes to tune in just a little late, about five minutes in, <laughs> well, you missed the goal. Uh, Frankie, or not Frankie, my, <laughs> Alan Cruz scoring the goal for the orange and blue. Uh, there within the first minute on a beautiful scissor kick goal. Uh, and that's where we stand right now, 1-0. Uh, currently, they're still in a weather delay. I've finally got the feed pulled up here on my screen. And uh, so, yeah, we don't uh, have a net. It looks like the next update is going to be at 8.15 local time. So 9.15 here. So we'll know more here in about five minutes, Rob. Yeah, uh, they just threw it back to the stadium a few minutes ago. Um, and... I, I assume Tommy and Kevin were saying something. I've got my TV muted now, so I don't know what it was exactly was said. But on Twitter, it looks like the fire, um, the original call for suspension was about 16 minutes ago. So when um, when we get that update, <clears throat> excuse me, they'll probably tell us, you know, if there's going to be a lengthier delay or a potential restart time. Yeah, we'll see what happens there. Uh, we'll obviously keep you posted here on the Coney phone. Uh, as, as I said, uh, according to the ESPN telecast. So I don't have Tommy G and Kevin like you do, Rob. I've got the, the Chicago Fire broadcast this week here on ESPN. And uh, this is 815 local time. So that'd be uh, in about four minutes here, uh, here on the East Coast. So uh, again, get in touch with us. 513-399-KICK. 513-399-KICK. Uh, and have your say, FCC fans. If you're watching us on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, so get in touch. If you're there in Chicago, there in Bridgeview, where you've taken shelter, maybe you're tuning in, uh, get in touch with us. Hello, Mike Hudson. Mike Hudson watching us on YouTube. Appreciate you tuning in. Um, Jeremy on Facebook says, do you think Lettuce has any credibility, Rob? Uh, to be honest, um I have, I'm kind of like a, um, I kind of dabble just a little bit in FCC Reddit. Uh, I'm not in there a whole lot, so I don't know honestly what has been said or, or what hasn't been said or anything like that. Um, I, I don't know who he is. Um, I'm, uh, it's much of a mystery as, uh, for me as it is for, for everyone else. Right. I can't confirm it's not me though. I can also confirm that it is not me. Um, but yeah, apparently making all the rounds on social media of late, uh, with all kinds of rumors and stories and, uh, yeah, so <laughs> we'll see what happens. If any of it comes true, anybody can just take a bunch of names and rumors and throw them out there and see if they stick. Um, 
but you won't see us doing that here at Cincinnati Soccer Talk. Uh, we bring you the news, the actual news, when it comes to FC Cincinnati. So, again, this is your chance. We see a few of you. There's quite a bit of you watching live here right now. Uh, what are you waiting for? Call us. 513-399-KICK here on the Coney phone. First one of 2019. Um, this is your chance to have your say about the uh, the orange and blue. Uh, so as you you know, we're watching this uh, live tonight. Uh, we are watching. Uh, you know, this is I would say the return of Kendall Waston and the return of Alan Cruz. It feels like just watching this team, Rob. And that, let's also throw in Alvis Powell. He's also returned. He's in the lineup tonight. But I feel like since. These three in particular have returned uh, to the orange and blue. It feels like even just watching them on screen that there's a different energy about these guys. It feels like some, something has changed. The fact that they came back and it's like there's a whole new energy with this group. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, it's kind of one of those things where you don't know exactly what you have until you're missing it. And w when those guys were gone on international duty, boy, were 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 the ranks thin, and you're gonna get results like you had that seven to one at at, at Minnesota when when you dress 15, 16 guys or whatever it was they had. Uh, so getting some reinforcements back was just a was just a huge um, breath of relief. Um, get uh, especially Kendall Waston really anchoring that center back position, the captain, um, just missing somebody like that. You can really tell a big difference. Yeah. Uh, he's returned, uh, obviously <laughs> was <laughs> the one r r responsible for the penalty tonight, uh, against the fire, <laughs> but, uh, fortunately for him and the orange and blue, the penalty did not go clanked off the post. So that's why we sit at one nil. Uh, all right, before we get a weather update here, let's go back to the phones one more time. Shall we Rob? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Area code once again five one three. Hi, who's this? It's my cousin sucks. Hey, Mike, how's it going, buddy? Uh, not too bad. I just rode my bike home, middle of the game during that delay. It was fun. What did you ride your bike home from? Is the question. Um, I was out of Five Guys. I was watching the game on my phone while I was there. Five Guys, solid, uh, solid establishment. Not gonna lie. Indeed. That's what keeps me from, uh, you know, being skinny, even though I ride my bike everywhere. So the question for you that I have, Mike, is are you a little cheeseburger guy or are you a cheeseburger? Ah, uh, no, solid cheeseburger. Okay. <laughs> and a small fry? I get the craziest toppings if we want to talk about that, or we can talk about the game. Oh, I want to hear the toppings. All right, all right, I'll bring it. Um, none of these make sense with each other. I'm just going to warn you. Okay. So mayo, lettuce, grilled onion, relish, and hot sauce. What? <laughs> you lost I my told you. <laughs> That's lie, an interesting Mike. burger. It's pretty insane. I could probably lose the mayo and, and, and be fine um, and the lettuce, to be honest. But like, it, it's just the way I love my burgers. It's the only place I get them like that. That's a, it's Five Guys. Hey, Five Guys is, like I said, a solid burger establishment. It beats my dinner. I had I had Little Caesars, and I had burnt uh, <laughs> burnt extra most bestest tonight. So there you go. But I have to say thank you to my wife for getting me that pizza. She's a life <laughs> Anyway, what's on your mind? Yes, Mike? thank you. Um, so I was just wondering, because I saw, I only saw, in the replays I saw of the penalty call, it didn't even look like a foul to me. It looked right. like shoulder to shoulder on a 50, 50 ball. Is that what you guys thought too? When I was watching it live, I didn't think it was a foul. I thought it was, you know, two guys going for the ball and they both actually fell on the play. Um, slow yeah. motion, slow motion changes the, the outlook. Uh, it makes it look worse than it is. Uh, so I, I'm kind of in agreement with you there, Mike. I didn't think it was a, I honestly thought it was a soft penalty call. I really didn't get the best. Yeah, I mean, look if it's a foul, Sorry, Rob. Oh, I, I was just going to say, I really didn't get the best look at it. I was more concerned about where the foul was called um, and whether it was a penalty or, you know, just a, a free kick. Yeah, if this was the foul, it was a penalty. It was definitely inside the box. Yeah. No question about that. But I, I thought it was 
not a foul at all. That's probably one um, of those fouls too, Mike, where you you know, if the referee doesn't blow his whistle, it's probably not even talked about post match. It's not like they're the coaches are going to say anything like, oh, the missed penalty, because I don't think they would have thought anything of it. You know, it was one of those kind of 50-50 fouls. They both got their legs tangled up and and whatever. That's true. And if it went the other way, if they thought that the guy fouled lost it, again, you know, uh, not even talked about, because that's way deep in our end, and we get a, a, a long, basically a goal kick. Sure. Yeah, a lot of people yeah. are questioning it uh, here in the live chat as well. Uh, but yeah, it's a hey, look. The the ball don't lie. Clanked off the post, so we'll take it. Yeah, I uh, I have zero uh, surprise that an MLS ref got the call wrong even after VAR. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's a it's a fun little process, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Well, good stuff, Mike. Well, thanks for rushing home to. On your bike. Hopefully you stay dry. I don't know what the weather's like down there in Cincinnati, but uh but uh, it is hot and muggy and I can't see a damn cloud. Yeah, sounds familiar. Same up here. But uh <laughs> oh, we appreciate the call, man, and thanks for all your support. I really do appreciate it. Welcome. Good to hear from you, brother. Rock on. Rock on. That's uh, Mike Hudson sucks. Uh Rob a fellow Liverpool supporter as well. Ugh. Gotta hang up on him now. <laughs> <laughs> Premier League action is right around the corner. That's right. You're right. It is just around the corner. Uh, Manchester United played this morning bright and early at 7 a.m., and I did not get up and watch it. So, <laughs> uh, way too early for me. Uh, again, 513 399 kick. 513 399 kick. Get in touch. Uh, let us know where you're watching from and what your thoughts were on that uh, brief first half for FC Cincinnati and the Chicago Fire. It uh, looks like a weather update came and went. Uh, the broadcast here on ESPN just says now weather delay. So they must have come and updated. I don't see uh, any further updates as far as time goes. I do see fans in the stands, though, at SeatGeek Stadium. Uh, but, yeah, no, nobody on the pitch right now as far as uh, the players or coaching staff. Also, no official update on the Fire Twitter. Um, their last... Uh, update was the original suspension, which was 38 minutes ago. So we'll keep it here on this special edition of the Coney phone. Uh, if you're watching us live, uh, make sure you, uh, you know, send us your messages. We're reading all the comments on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Uh, so get in touch uh, again. Five, one, three, three, nine, nine kick is the number to call to have your say. Uh, if you want to talk transfers, you want to talk rumors, you want to talk um, tonight's match. Uh, again, get in touch with us, 513-399-KICK. Uh, there was some news this week, Rob, surrounding the club. It was kind of surprising news, actually, uh, about a center back. And no, it was not a new center back, but FC Cincinnati announcing the extension of the captain, Kendall Waston. And he signed an extension. Now, we still don't know for how long this extension is, but he is at least uh, more than likely going to be on the roster in 2020 next year, which is, which is big news. Yeah, yeah, that was that was good to see. Um, as, as I mentioned earlier, Waston's really been a rock back there. Um, and one thing I um, kind of noted uh, is that this, you know, assuming that he's the captain next year, it will be the first time that FC Cincinnati has returned a captain um, next year since Austin Berry in 2017. You had uh, Deco Kanan in um, 2018 and, and uh, Waston this year. Yeah, that's right. I was thinking about that the other day when you mentioned that. And I thought, well, there couldn't have been that many captains. But, yeah, uh, the fact that uh, it's going to be bro- broken up that one year with the Deckel uh, in there. So that, uh, that's pretty cool. So he's going to be back next year uh, unless something drastic happens where he gets moved, uh, which I, I don't see that happening. But, uh, obviously, he's had gr- – I'll tell you what. Since his return from the Gold Cup, which is just uh, just a few weeks – uh, I, I didn't realize this. I went back and I counted uh, in his absence in the four league matches that he missed. FC Cincinnati conceded 17 goals. Uh, that is quite a bit. 17 of the 44 they've already conceded this year were when he was out. Um, so, yeah, it was good to have him and get him back into the fold for next year. Uh, let's go back to the phone, shall we? Another 513 number. Normally we have a screener, but uh, we don't tonight. Uh, uh, you're on Cincinnati Soccer Talk. Hi, who's this? It's 
Carnes. What's up, brother? Hey, what's going on, Todd? How are you doing, buddy? I'm good, man. Screeners, screeners can't stop me. Hey, <laughs> so we got uh, we got the boys are getting ready to come back on the pitch at uh, eight thirty two. Is what their terrible PA announcement system that you can't really understand just said. Um, so we're all, we're we're here. They're clapping. We're uh, we're on scene for Chicago. Nice. Uh, Walker Tice. Walker Tice needs to be tagged on Twitter for not making the trip up to Chicago, but Jack and Brandon from the front office did. Nice. So we all need to give Walker Tice a little bit of grief on that. Um, Chicago fans are terrible. Their uh, their supporters section maybe about forty people. They play drums. They don't sing. So we uh, we all need to. Holy shit! Wow. Sorry, you got to bleep out the screener. <laughs> all right, since I'm not popping here. Start, keep drinking the beer. Start cheering the boys on. Spencer's back out. Black guys on the stop. Go Manchester United. Liverpool sucks. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Carnes. That's uh, Todd giving us a call. They're in Bridgeview. He's there at the match. And, yes, I'm watching it now here on ESPN. The players are back out onto the field, Rob. So uh, that is a good sign. According to Todd, they're on site. He says 9.32 uh, here at Eastern time. They will resume things between the fire and and FC Cincinnati. Yeah, I saw the notification on Twitter also, so it looks like we will be having some soccer here in just a few minutes. So this is your your final call for calls here on the first edition of the Coney Phone here in 2019. So get in touch with us, FCC fans. This is your chance to have your say about the orange and blue. So they signed uh, Kendall Watson. I'm just seeing another, another replay of that penalty. That's a soft, soft penalty. I mean, yeah, it looked like a 50-50 to me. But, again, thankfully, uh, the, the penalty kick was missed. So uh, let's hope now that the orange and blue can um, kind of regroup here because they'll have the rest of this first half. They'll actually go back into the second half or to the locker room at halftime again. So they're going to have another 15-minute break. And then, uh, and then, yeah, so we've got uh, – <laughs> it's going to be a while before this match wraps up later this evening, Rob. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. They play for um, – when did when did the suspension start? The 28th minute or something like that? So they're going to play for another 15 minutes, and then you'll have halftime, and then you have another break at halftime, and then uh, back out for the second half. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's always interesting how they manage to do that. I don't know why they can't just say – obviously, you don't want to call this halftime, but maybe shorten – halftime here in a few moments rather than to do the full 15 but you know it's not my call it's major league soccer's call so um, anyway uh so they're back out on the field they're currently warming up as we speak there in bridgeview uh looks like the things are going to be kicking back off here in about uh, six or seven minutes or so uh so again this is your chance uh 513-399 kick 513-399 kick we've got a lot of updates on social media here as well as uh, from the Orlando crew game going on down in Orlando. So uh, it sounds like Orlando just recently scored. Um, yep, that's, that is true. So, um, yeah, so we've got uh, a big week coming up, Rob. you got D.C. United, first ever trip to Cincinnati. We're hopeful that uh, one Wayne Rooney is going to be playing in that match. And then, of course, the high-flying Revs, who uh, under Bruce Arena look like a completely different team now. Yeah, yeah. Um... Did, did Rooney get a red card last uh, week? Uh, I think it was a couple weeks ago. Okay. I All could right. be wrong about that. All right. So I would I would imagine that he would be here for, for that match. And that's going to be uh, Rose Lavelle night at, uh, at the stadium. Yeah, it's going to be a fun one. Yeah, yeah. And then you're right. The Revs have really stepped up since, uh, since Bruce Arena took over. And it just signifies the importance of, you know, getting that head coaching position right and what kind of effect that can have. Um, so we'll be looking to see who FC Cincinnati uh, picks as their coach and, and, you know, when they do it and the effect that that will have on the club. Yeah. Uh, maybe, who knows, with everything going on this week with the, the midweek match as well as the, the Revs match at home, it's a Sunday night, right? Um, yeah, Sunday. You know, you know, maybe this is a big week. Maybe this is the week to to make that announcement as far as the the coaching hire goes. 
Uh, we've seen rumors on Twitter that it's going to be Ron Yans. Uh, I don't know. That has not been confirmed. Um, obviously, he's got a working relationship with Knee Camp in the past. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. And again, this is Twitter, so <laughs> you take it for what it's worth. Reddit's even worse, right, Rob? Yeah, yeah. I go to Twitter for, for news. I don't use it the way that, uh, you know, other people might. But um, and like I said, I'm just in Reddit every once in a while just to kind of see what's going on there but uh yeah i don't i don't dismiss it but i don't put too much stock into it either yeah i'm just looking at the scoring update right now orlando leading columbus one nil toronto fc leading one nil over montreal that is a a canadian cup battle there and then minnesota and fc dallas currently nil nil in the second half then later on this evening you've got real salt lake hosting philly vancouver hosting kansas city and portland uh portland hosting Colorado here around Major League Soccer tonight. So uh, right now, um, FC Cincinnati leading 1-0 over the Chicago Fire. Uh, let, let's put a little bow on this Coney phone, shall we, Rob, as we uh, look like we're going to be kicking off here in just a few moments. Um, what do you want to see in the second half from the Orange and Blue? Um, I want to see uh, hopefully another goal. That, that would be nice. Um um, I'm, I'm kind of a proponent of, of letting some of the younger players get some minutes. So honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing Tommy McCabe hit the field and, and see what he's got. He is in the 18 tonight, mm-hmm. uh, obviously without, um, Amaya traveling or, or being there in the 18 tonight, McCabe could get some minutes. Uh, so you might get your wish. Uyoa also on the bench as well. Uh, so I don't know if they'll sub out two midfielders, but you never know. Uh, but you know what I want to see, Rob? What's I want to see I want to see more goals. I want to oh, see yeah. more goals like yeah. that one. Uh, so I mean, it would affect my Growler Cup pick. I went one one, and I thought that penalty kick was going to be a lifesaver for me. But uh, I'll take a one nil win, no question about it. But uh, but yeah. So uh, again, thanks to everybody who tuned in live tonight. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all of our callers. We really do appreciate you tuning in. Uh, to the first edition, hopefully the last edition of the 2019 Coney Phone. Uh, For Rob Pierce, I'm Subes. Watch your tackles. Enjoy the second half, everybody.